So now I'm a couple days late to the whole wipe thing, and I'm sorry about that, but happy wipe day to you guys. Now, as you may remember from a previous video that I posted, I was very excited to find out about FSR 1.0 coming to the game and about its performance boost to those who don't have RTX cards. So with this whole new patch coming out, and with FSR 1.0 in the game, I wanted to hop into Factory, the one place that didn't have all that low GPU usage crap, and compare native 1440p, FSR 1.0, and DLSS. And yes, I also hopped into an extra map or two to show you guys more of the difference, but let's hop into this and test it here. So now I'm at the place that I normally do my Factory benchmarks, just in this little hallway, railway area right here. And with native 1440p using my settings that I'll post on the screen now that are also in the description, I'm getting about 113 FPS on average. It sometimes dips down to 112, but it's being pretty steady at 113. So knowing that, I'm going to go straight to FSR 1.0 and we're going to see the quality difference. Oh, and since I'm dumb, I didn't mention it. We're going to be going to FSR 1.0 ultra quality to get the highest quality we can out of this upscaler. So now we're in ultra quality and our FPS has jumped all the way to around 157. That's pretty good. Honestly, 156, 157 FPS. That's a great improvement. The image does look a little bit more blurry and definitely at a lower resolution. And you can tell there's a little bit of magic jumbo going on here. Now, if you guys are wondering what the difference is between FSR 1.0 and DLSS, FSR 1.0 is a spatial upscaler. So if you watched my previous video a while back about NVIDIA's image scaling or NIS, this works in much the same manner, except it has to be implemented into the game by developers in order to function properly. Essentially how it works is there's a render pipeline and FSR 1.0 needs to be put somewhere into that pipeline before the final render output for each frame comes out so that it can do its upscaling. DLSS also needs to be implemented by developers, but it's a temporal upscaler that relies on tensor cores in 20 and 30 series GPUs so that it can use AI along with temporal upscaling to make a better quality image. Now I'm gonna take a second just to walk forward and see how it looks in motion. Uh, overall, it looks pretty good. I am noticing that there is a little bit more shimmering going on with FSR 1.0 than I saw with DLSS and I'll zoom in onto the places that I see it now, like the blue tarp and things like that. I'm gonna turn around and walk back right now. You can see on that grate too on the left that there's also a good bit of shimmering, especially with brighter objects as you may be seeing. But overall for ultra quality, it doesn't look that bad and the performance impact you get is good. It works very well. If you're on a lower end card, an AMD card, an Nvidia card that's not one of the second newest or newest generations, this is your solution. And honestly, compared to DLSS, it's not too bad. It could be better, but now you have an upscaler, especially for you lower end NVIDIA or lower end AMD users, that isn't half bad. So this is nice. Now let's step it up to DLSS and try to point out a couple of differences that at least I saw between this and DLSS. So now we're on DLSS quality. And one of the things that you are probably noticing right off the get go is in the distance, those windows look a bit more crisp and the text on the banners over there also looks a bit clearer. I'm going to just switch back to FSR 1.0 so you guys can see that real quick. As you can see, the text in the background is definitely a bit blurrier. The windows are a bit darker and a bit more blurry. Let's switch back to DLSS again. Those windows in the background are brighter. You can see the shapes in them a bit more clearly, and the text all the way at the back there is actually fleshed out a bit more. Another thing that I'm noticing right off the get-go is that the bricks on the side look a bit more crisp. The angles look clearer. It's not as shimmery as FSR 1.0. And as I walk around, you'll probably begin to notice that there's a lot less shimmering going on. If you look on the right there, those barricades are definitely shimmering less. In the front too, there's a lot less shimmering, especially as we get closer, the shimmering stops real quick. And definitely an improvement to FSR 1.0. Now you may be saying, Clem, it's very obvious that DLSS is better than FSR 1.0 since it relies on hardware inside GPUs and it also uses temporal upscaling. Why are you pointing this out in the first place? Well, this is because AMD has released FSR 2.0, which is a temporal upscaling solution. And so far the support for this has been pretty slim. I believe it's only on like 10 or 15 titles as of me writing this, but it may be more. Um, I haven't gone an update on that though recently, but if we are able to get FSR 2.0 in the game, which relies on temporal, uh, temporal upscaling, but no AI, we might see a improvement to the image quality of FSR's upscaling 
just that it's a bit more usable for people who don't have, you know, high-end NVIDIA hardware. The final thing that I want to note, though, is if you look on the screen right now, you'll probably see all those white particles floating around, and I'll try to zoom in on some that I see it happening with a lot, but there's a lot of ghosting going on, and that's going to happen regardless of what upscaler you're using. So in a high-intensity game like Escape from Tarkov, it's very important to have a clear sight picture, clear line of sight, and, you know, easily recognizable enemies, especially in the distance as well. So use an upscaler at your own risk. Personally, I don't play with an upscaler, though if I had to, I'd obviously go with the LSS. Using FSR 1.0 Ultra Quality, though, may be the solution you guys need to actually get to a playable frame rate on lower end hardware. So that's why I wanted to just put this video out so that you guys knew about it. Uh, if you didn't follow Tarkov news regarding these sort of things, and I will be putting out more in-depth comparisons on all maps besides labs in the near future. It's just right now I wanted to just pump out this video so you guys would be able to test yourself and uh, report your findings down below. I have a lot of new ideas uh, with this new patch coming out. I've got a lot more testing to do too. It's going to take a lot of time. So for now, I'm going to end this video here. And if you guys enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button. I know it was very simple, but I wanted to explain to you guys the differences and why it works, why FSR 1.0 works with lower end hardware. I hope to see you guys really soon. And for now, have a bunch of fun in your raids and I'll see you next time. This is Clem, locking out. Later.